79 Tops Personal Pack Baseball. Chris T. Got going on. Just an opportunity to uh, to do something really fun uh, for the rest of the night. Okay, spot one, Tim Foley. Ray Fossey. All right, Justin. Thanks, man. Just let me know when you got it in. Oh. Yeah, Justin, we got your order, bro. You're in. You're all good. We got you in the snapper. Here's Ray Fossey. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Don't worry about what I ate. We're not. Uh, we're gonna talk about sports tonight. Not interested in really talking about uh, anything other than that today. Anything related to my fasting. Manager's dream snapper, Justin. All right, Justin. Let me just double check here. I think you got four more spots coming to you, brother. All right, Justin, you're good. Here we go. John Urea. Hey, John. So, Justin R's. Um, yeah. So, uh, I think I got I got it taken care of. I think you had four spots. It's eight. The, so the the mantles these are fifty right just so I know the fifty snapper yep, that's good. and there's how many prizes four five five yeah. what's the fifth the pack oh so these are the numbers right one two three four great he's taken care of he said thank you by the way oh he said Johnny Five's a nice guy I said I don't know about that Johnny Five Steve Yeager Mark Lee. All good, Justin. Thanks, man. Wayne Garland, 20-game winner once with the Indians. 1977, I believe. Am I right? No, 76 with the Orioles, won 20 games. Came back, Indians in 77. Was pretty good, then stunk it up in 78. He was. Ray Fossey got run over in the All-Star game by Pete Rose. Ruined his career. Gene Garber. Andy Rapogel. Rip Logel? Never heard of this guy before. Probably never heard of himself. Apparently he was he was decent with the Brewers as a rookie in nineteen seventy eight. And he was the Cardinals minor league pitcher of the month in nineteen seventy six April. Taylor Duncan. Really, uh... Eat that much today, so it's an order from the Japanese place. Would you like to order? I can order later on if you don't want to order now. No, I'll eat something, yeah, for sure. You want a chicken bowl? Ooh, they like just like grilled chicken with it's rice? Grilled chicken, rice, so it's, it's nice. That's nice. That it's sounds good. great. Good. It's coating. What's going on, everyone? Boom. Thank you. Yes, every once in a while. I got jokes. You hear my joke, Lee? What up, Tom? I pulled the car. I pulled a card of the uh, the immortal 1979, the immortal um, Andy Replogel, and I said he probably never even heard of himself. <laughs> That's a tough That's name. That's pretty good, right? Replogel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I even said it right. David, it's a good question. Glass card, Greg Mitten. I don't know. It's a good question. I do believe, though, there are enough kids out there that are definitely looking at this in terms of investment, not necessarily collecting. So I think that they're, you know, I think at least in our lifetime, these cards are still going to, uh, remember, I'm only in my 40s, so I still got 50 more years of, of collecting. Robert, you got to shoot for me, please? Thank you. So who knows? 